All right, looks like I'm live. Hopefully this works. If anyone is here or anyone is watching, I'll try to keep an eye on the chat. Um, but yeah, I'm going to attempt to play the new Wheel of Time game. Or not new, it's not new at all, is it? It's an old Wheel of Time game. I'm going to attempt it, see how it goes. I think I got it working. Uh, let me know in the chat if you can hear me okay, if you can hear the game. Let me know if there's any technical issues. I honestly don't know if anyone's even going to show up to this. This is kind of a test run, but I'm going to run through the tutorial of the game, and if I feel like it's going well, we'll continue. If not, I'll work out some technical issues and try this again. But I thought it might be fun just to try this out and see how it goes. So without further ado, let's launch the game. So hopefully this will work. A little backstory to this, I actually have the game right here. Hopefully you can still hear me, because the game is a little bit loud, but... This is the old Wheel of Time game. It came out in 1998. It was created by Legend Entertainment. And uh, I really liked it when it came out. I'm sure it hasn't aged well, but we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to go into my settings and change, uh, change the uh, volume settings a little because it's super loud. Let's see here. Mm, is it hardware? Sound quality, master volume. Take that down a little bit. Let me check OBS really quick. Sorry for the technical issues here. We'll get this figured out, I promise. Oh, and it would be good if I showed you the screen, wouldn't it? So, here we go. Let's try this again. Technical difficulties. There's the game. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. I um Oh hi. Someone's actually here watching. How nice. Now it looks like there's some issues with full screen, so I'll try to figure that out in a second, but let me go into my hardware settings real quick. Um Turn on, sorry, technical difficulties. We'll get this working. You turn that on. I'm going to move this up so that we can see that. Now, I wonder why it's choosing. Let me try toggling full screen mode, see if that changes anything. There we go. That's better. It's going to be windowed like this, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hey, guys. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> I'm still learning what I'm doing here. Can you guys hear me and can you hear the game okay? Oh yeah, the Falcon launch. Forgot about that. It's okay, I don't expect many people to watch this. This is kind of a test run anyway. Um, I'm also on like a 20 second delay, so I apologize if uh, I see your comments and then respond quite a bit later. Um, okay, let's try this out. So I'm gonna do this single player. I'm gonna start with the tutorial. Tell me if you have any sound issues or can't hear it. Ready? Elena, in order to be initiated into the White Tower, you must be tested. The artifact you see here is a special Tirangrial for this purpose. Walk through each of its arches in turn. They will bring you face to face with your greatest fears. Don't panic, but listen for my voice. I will guide you through. In this way, we start your training. The first time is for what was. The way back will come but once. Don't Please let your fears fast. command you, Elaine. The longer you wait, the worse it will be. <laughs> okay, so this is the Don't tutorial. Don't me, child. Yeah, yeah, okay, be patient. I, just, I wanted to talk you for a second. You must face your fears, child, or be <laughs> expelled from the tower. I will. Don't worry. I'll face my fears. Um, I, I want to point out a few things. I played this game back in 1998 when it came out. Loved it. Um, I remember doing the tutorial once, but I played through the actual game multiple times. It's been years and years since I played it. Um, but, man... Just the FPS quality of it, the speed of my walking is insane. I might have to change that. I like the idea of using the uh, accepted... Don't let your fears command you, Elena. Walk through the arch. I will, I will. I like the, the idea of using wait, the, the uh, accepted uh, training through the Don't arches to do the tutorial. I love that I can see through her dress and see her legs under her dress from here. You like there's some clipping fears, problems. Child. If I move up closer... From the tower seems to work better. Wow, she's breathing really fast, too. Do you see that? That's funny. Okay, well, let's walk through here and do the first tutorial. You were a 
a curious child, Elena. A cave-in trapped you inside this dark cavern. You huddled in the blocked entrance for hours, terrified of the dark. Finally, someone from your village dug you out. That's not going to happen now. Look at this, spiders. Follow my directions and all will be well. In this part of the cavern, it's safe to move around. Explore a bit. Okay. Stay still, child. Cool. The quake has opened the passage. Follow it, but be careful. You may have to jump over some of the debris. So F5 is quick save. Okay, I forgot about that. F6 is quick load. Okay, good. Jump, right mouse. Oh, okay. Or space bar. Okay. Uh, this is... So the game is actually very dark, which is a problem. I've watched other streams of it, and it's extremely dark, but... <laughs> I'm glad you guys can hear me. I'm trying to look at chat. If you have any, like, random Wheel of Time questions or want to talk spoilers or something, that's kind of what I want to do is maybe just talk about the metaphysics. Oh, and now I'm stuck. Okay, let's jump up here. Let's go. Okay. The exit is in sight, Elena, but out of reach. There mm. must be another way to the arch. Steal yourself and drop down. Okay. Oh, hurt, child. Oh, ouch. Take some of the roots that grow in this cave. They have healing properties. All right, I gotta ch I gotta change some settings because the walk speed is so fast. Let me see if I can uh, change that. Mouse sensitivity, maybe take that down a little. I don't know if there is a walk speed option because man, I'm. It's crazy. Let's see detail. Nope. All right. Well, that's fine. Wheel of Time game. Yeah, this is the Wheel of Time game from the '90s. I'm just playing it. Wanted the to chat. Wheel of Time. To be through the water. Dive in. This is actually pretty incredible that a game from the '90s has swimming and water. I mean, that was something that was pretty complicated for some games back then. So. Don't stay too long. Even I Sedai can drive. Ugh. There's another exit to this cave. Swim to it. Okay, so I hold spacebar to jump. The arch is close, but there's a climb first. The path is broken, so you'll have to leap over the holes. Sure, I can manage. And the walking is so uh. fast. Oh my. I wonder if it has something to do with the frame rate. Like it's so fast. As soon as I push forward, it just goes so fast. Hmm. Ready to jump? Okay. <laughs> I think I did it. Oh gosh. Here we go. Okay. The way back will come but once. Wonderful. Walk through the arch. Yep. I, I'm I bet you're right. Something about my CPU is messing with the speed. Look, if I walk forward just a little bit like this, it's fine. But if I hold forward, it just starts to run really fast. Maybe if I hold oh I see. If I hold shift and and walk forward then it's like regular walking interesting all right here i go so i finished my first test you've done well elena but you've only begun the second time is for what is the way back will come but once be steadfast what's the name of that um material that people wear that sort of see through like the shan chen wear it Looks like that's what she's wearing here because I can see her pants or her legs <laughs> through her dress. Not appropriate for a Aes Sedai, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, let's go through. Your virtually non-existent ability to channel is crippling. Fear of failure has driven you to use Tirangre. Try the door, Elena. Although the lock doesn't bode well. Where's the door? Okay, here's the door. <sighs> so much for that. You a Tirangreal. Take it. Oh, how how convenient. Your experience allows you to identify the functions of new You can use air pulse to break or push things like these crates. Break open these crates, Elena. Okay, so in this game, I don't know if any of you have seen this game before, but in, the concept is you're you are nice to die, but you're incredibly weak. And I'm sure we'll get to the story in a minute here. But um you're so weak that the only way that you can really channel is by using Terran Grial. It's their way of making the game mechanics a little easier to follow. Um, so you, you collect Terran Grial that give you different abilities and different weapons throughout the game. Um, there's no, like, quote-unquote channeling. There's no weaves or anything like that. That's how they got around that. Some crates hold items. In this game, you triggered one of Take the Key. <laughs> it also seems like it's the some of the audio things are kind of overlapping on top of each other. But 
Because let's see. So if I hit the number nine, okay. See now I have this light that I can use, and it, you'll see that there's a little infinite symbol at the bottom. That means there aren't like a limited number of uses for this particular item, right? So in this case, I can. Um, this portcullis isn't reinforced. You should be able to break through it with air pulse. Okay, so I can air pulse, as she calls it, as many times as I want. It's an infinite reusable Terangriel. If it'll let me. Well, it says I should be able to get through it. Oh, there's a mirror on the ceiling. That's pretty odd. Oh, no. What is that? A reflective ceiling or something? Hmm. I wonder if I'm already coming into some... Oh. This time you have a key. I had to hit the collider just right, probably, in the game. Okay, so here we go. I've got the key. This corridor is blocked by a reinforced... There is another artifact here, though. Oh, Take a reinforced wall. The glow around the Tirangrial means that it will reappear here if you use all of its charges. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a reusable... Let's pick it up. Back to the portcullis and use the shift artifact. Oh, cool. So this is a shift. So what I do when I click this one... Oh, I, re I used it. i got to pick it back up. You only have one use for this. It lets me shift through the wall. So here I go. Now pull the lever to open the portcullis. When you use the only charge of the shift artifact, it reappeared. Take it again and use it to pass through the remaining portcullis. Okay. This trap is the deadliest yet. A stream of fireballs prevents anyone from going further. However, the fire shield artifact here protects against both weaves of fire and fire-based environmental hazards. Take and use it. Then walk down this hall. So this is how they deal with shielding. You can create like a fire shield or a spirit shield around your character. And this is how this works. So I'm going to use this and it'll put a temporary shield that has like a clock on it. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to try to walk through the fire here. The fire shield is a passive defense. There are much stronger defensive artifacts, such as the Reflect Tirangreal found here. Take, research, and use it against the trap. Okay. You might want to use your rifle, It's dark. You're amassing quite the collection of Tirangreal. Why don't you use your new fireball artifact against this wall trap? So you'll also notice down there, number one, there's two different... I can hit the number one twice and it will toggle through those. These are like the more used items in the game. I can also use the scroll wheel on my mouse to scroll through everything. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's hurting me. Okay, so I got through. The arch is there, Elena. You must watch where you're walking, child. <laughs> Quickly climb up the wall and Elena, leave you this don't have time place. to explore. The arch won't stay steady, Elena. Well, you endured <laughs> much, but learned much as well. I know each test is hard, but what comes is the worst of all. The third time is for what will be. The way back will come but once. Be steadfast. Look at how fast she's breathing. Yeah, I, it, that is a problem. Uh cosplay bg i am moving way too quickly i don't really know how to fix that to be honest i'm uh holding shift now which seems to work but it's kind of tiring holding shift while strafing um if i just press forward it walks extremely quickly i'll, I'll look into this and see if i can fix this for a future uh, version of the video but for now i'll try to just do short little bursts In of steps this time you are an emissary of the white tower a diplomatic mission brought you to faldara an outpost on the borderlands whose soldiers hold the forces of the dark one within the blight they didn't expect the sudden concentrated assault that overwhelmed the keep no doubt in search of you now it's only a matter of time until the trollocs and murdral find the chamber in which you hide because you cannot channel you are forced to rely on the sister and warder accompanying you for protection but they are outnumbered your only chance is to set traps for the invaders Okay, it said something about F10. There is only one exit, oh! And the invaders are likely just outside. That's where they'll enter. Two paths lead from this door to the main room where you'll be. You must channel the invaders through one of the corridors in order to ensure that they'll encounter your traps. Place a makeshift wall to block the shorter path. Okay, makeshift wall. So which one is the shorter path? This one, I guess. So let's place a wall. Will it let me? Good child. Okay. Now place two spear traps along the remaining corridor. Not there, child. 
that won't do you much good. Sorry, sorry. Now, one more. Good. Now, place one more spear trap. Although damaged by the spears, the Trollocs won't stop. They will likely just become angrier and charge out of the corridor into the main room. A pit at the opening might make a nice welcome. Now position your companions, the sister and her warder. Although it would be safest to keep them in the main room, one more precaution, child. <laughs> Activate the portcullis in front of the alcove in back of the main room. It might just save your life. So I can actually place a warder? This is cool. So here's a warder. Here's an Aes Sedai. And I missed the last thing she said. What did she say? Place something here. Oh, here we go. I'm putting myself in this room, I guess. Oh, maybe not while I'm here. You've done well in <laughs> Look, it's You're tiny. As ready as you can be. Steal yourself. The Trolloc horde is gathering outside, and the door won't hold them off for long. All right, F10 to start. So they're the coming. The archway now. has appeared. In you must don't tear it. The arch won't last forever. Oh, that was it. Clean, Elena, of all ties that bind you to the world, you come to us <laughs> washed right. clean in heart and soul. You are sealed to the White Tower now. You are ready. Well, thanks. Okay, so it looks like I completed the tutorial portion. How was that? Did that make any sort of sense? Hopefully, uh. You guys enjoyed that. I'm going to keep playing for a little bit, but let me know in the comments if any of you are still here. <laughs> let me know in the comments if, uh, you know, this is working out, if you're able to hear it okay, if you have any solutions for fixing the frame rate or the fast walking. That would be great. Okay. That was it. Pretty fun. Okay. I also know you guys are probably going to be watching the, um, what's it called? The... Um, falcon launch any minute now so have fun with that i'm gonna keep playing for a little bit here so we'll we'll play the first level so singer player new game now i could go medium or hard but i'm wanting to do this more as a way to chat with people i don't want to really make this a challenge run i'd rather just kind of get through the story and let people see the game so i'm probably just going to choose easy mode i hope that's okay with you guys tarval and gold convinced a sailor to take me down the manether endril but drawing nearer to shatter logoth made him increasingly nervous. He finally left me off, saying that this is the closest he'd come to the cursed city. The assassin has already been here. He and his Trollocs left a swath of destruction in their wake. Others from the tower are bound to find it. The Trollocs' latest victims appear to be a caravan of peace-sworn tinkers, but I'm too late to help them. I must try to overtake the assassin before we near the city. What's inside scares even the Shadow Sworn. So I just realized something. This is really unfortunate. I may have to look into this. It's not playing the videos that tell the story. There's this really cool intro that talks about the Wheel of Time. It talks about the White Tower. It talks about my character. Um, at this stage in the game, there's an assassin who calls himself the Hound. And I believe uh, he's sort of like a Pat and Fane type character. Um, but at this point, I'm tracking the assassin down. And I'm using some Terangriol that I found. I'm not exactly sure why it's skipping the video playback. It probably has something to do with the fact that this game was made in 1998, and that's a problem. Um, but I'll try to look into that for a future video. Okay, so here are my objectives. Try to track down the assassin before he can reach Shatter Logoth. In doing so, learn to use your Terangriel to defend yourself against his protectors, the Trollocs. Research what you carry by selecting an artifact and then pressing the F2 key. Oh, I didn't realize I was supposed to research with F2. This is what happens when I rush through the tutorial. Uh, gather any Terangriel you can find among the remains of the Tinker's Wagon. Some caravans are suspected to carry such ancient artifacts. Okay, F3. So there goes my ship. I'm going to go into my settings, turn the sound back down because it's incredibly loud. Hopefully you can still hear it okay. Um, okay. So here I am. I'm going to hold shift so I can walk a little bit slower just so we can look around and it's not moving too fast. Interesting. So right now I only have the one Terangriol. It's the wind blowing one. I'm going to pick up this root, which is like a little health thing. You'll see in the top left corner, that little thing um, indicates my health. So as I continue to play, um, if I get hurt, that will automatically just use up until that blue outline 
around it goes away, and then that root will be used up. Look, they even have fish swimming around. They have bugs. It's pretty cool for a game in, made in 1998. Look at the fish. Okay, so I can go through here. I'm holding shift just so I can walk a little more slowly. Okay, here. So we come across our first dead person, and looks like some sort of shield uh, tear on Grail, so I'm going to pick that up. Yeah, this game is an FPS. It's not really an RPG. Yeah, I, I really enjoy this game, but I think a lot of that is nostalgia speaking because I bought it when it was new, and I played it on my brand new PC that I had just purchased. So I was very excited at the time. Um, it hasn't aged very well, but at the same time, it's kind of impressive for, impressive for the time that it was made. Like, I think it looks better than Half-Life 1. All right. So we've got another little area. I don't think there are any artifacts to collect here, if I remember correctly. I am going to walk a little faster just to get through some of these areas. I remember there's some sort of Terangriel here in a dead body. Yep. So that's a healing Terangriel. I'm also going to equip one of these shields just to give myself a little bit more strength. I, this is your first enemy. This is your first Trolloc. All right, well, I killed the Trolloc with my wind-blowing Terangriol. It wasn't too hard. My health is still at 100%, but you'll see that root is about halfway used up. Um, now I'm stuck on this lamp. Okay, let's keep going here. Broken bridge. I'm guessing if I jump in the water here, I'll die, so I'm not going to try that. Go a little faster here. I said I leave me alone. So that was the hound that just ran away. Kill you, hey. Just die already. Look, I'm about to die myself. How convenient. There's another root here to give me health. And I've got this. <laughs> okay, that's how you heal. I forgot about that. Okay. So, let's look in here. Oh, another Terangriel. This one's pretty cool. This is the Dark Terangriel. I remember equipping this when I would play it and um, cheering it to Unlimited. <laughs> There's like a cheat. cool the the ai they actually like dodge my bullets or whatever you call these the little darts it's pretty cool is there another one out there a not a one uh, let's see can i get up here you found a what whatever i don't think i can get up there from here so let's try over here Okay, so I've got another shield. Oh, look, I'm about to die. I'm real good at this game on easy mode. How do I crouch? I genuinely don't remember how to crouch. Or if it's even possible. I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. So I'll go past here. Can't jump up there. Okay, good. A healing. Is someone shooting me? He dead. <laughs> okay. Anyone want to talk Wheel of Time? Is anyone here watching? I'd love to talk about some theories or um, anything spoiler related. I think that would be fun. Maybe you can't crouch in this game. I genuinely don't remember. Here we go. That's how you get up there. Am I stuck? Oh, that's funny. They didn't bug test this game very well. If I'm already stuck.
<laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh. Okay. There we go. I'm figuring this out. This is really entertaining uh, YouTube, I'm sure. The walking. Good thing I'm playing easy mode, huh? Okay, this is my favorite part of the game. This is Shatter Logoth. Hmm, combining Galad and Gawain. That's a really interesting question. I've never thought of that. I think they could definitely do that. I could see them doing that for the TV show, combining the two characters, just because they're trying to, you know, consolidate. But clearly those two characters are meant to sort of play off of each other, right? Gawain's whole sort of purpose and his drive is sort of based on his trying to let his older brother get all the glory and, and he's sort of like second fiddle even though he's supposed to be the one to take care of Elaine, the future queen. I think um, Galad's view of the world is obviously very different from Gawain's, but to combine the two characters, I could see them doing something like that. First place Rand went after lighting the pipe and going off on his own. Hmm, good question. What are your thoughts? I, I haven't thought about that. I imagine he just went to walk on the road and probably stopped at some random inns and played his flute for his supper. I think he just kind of took it easy for a while. Probably just kind of let the road take him where it took him. So these guys throw axes. Oh, I'm already out. That's nice. Man, I am so bad at this. It's been a long time since I played this game. I'm gonna die next time I come across a Trolloc. Okay, so I killed that one, but... Oh, phew, that was lucky. Okay, so this is Shadow Logoth. This is one of the coolest parts of the game. I really liked it. Um, nice. These dead bodies, I remember these being a lot more gruesome when I was a kid wa uh, watching and playing this. It's actually pretty awful looking. That's funny. It's true about Galad. He does walk the walk. It's just too bad that he doesn't really recognize that, um... What he does is often harms those he loves. Oh, and I'm dead. Hey, my first death. Hooray. So let's see what happens. I just load game. Is that what I do? Tarvalen oh, boy. I got to start all the way over. Yikes. Okay. Well, let's rush through this then. I'll go a little faster. And hopefully I'll play a little better, too. Okay, he dead. Let's go this way. Uh, I just came this way. Blood and ashes. I said I leave me alone. <laughs> Boy, this is worse. I'm worse. Oh man, that was worse. I tried to I tried to play better, and I played worse. Oh hey Daniel, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, this is nothing very special. I'm sort of just testing this stream out, see how it goes. Wanted to just shoot the breeze with people. Kind of had a rough week at work, so I just wanted to kind of have some fun playing a video game and interacting with people. But this is all extremely new to me. I've never done live streaming or anything like this before. Also, man, I I forgot how crazy this game is. So what happens when you die? You just that's it? You just die? I gotta start auto saving, I guess. Load game. Gold. Gotta start over again. What was Joshua's theory? Clearly that's not what happened. Let me see. I've always wondered if anyone else thought at any point that the dragon's blood at Shao Gold was foreshadowing Elaine giving birth there. Oh. That's interesting to think about. 
you know what one little tidbit that I like is um, and Rand even thinks this to himself uh, during the um, when he enters Shio Gol he says it's interesting that none of the prophecies can see past this moment when his blood is on the rocks and he enters into the cave and it sort of implies that at the moment that he enters into what is Shio Gol I guess you call it a cave the cavern when he enters there the people who saw or foresaw the future couldn't see what was going to happen beyond that point because he's basically exiting the pattern in those moments. He's leaving and he's confronting the Dark One outside of the pattern, at least to a certain degree. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea that that's the last thing that they see prophesied. Um, okay, this time let me pay a little better attention and try to kill these Trollocs better. Pretty sad that this is easy mode and I'm doing so badly. Uh, the original Dark Souls level difficulty game right here. Yeah, I actually love the Dark Souls games. They're, oh, hey, it's the way of the leaf. Hey, guys, I didn't realize that was you. Yeah, we had a conversation about this. I love the Dark Souls games, but you know, one of the things I like about them is they're not these crazy FPSs. Blood and ashes. I said I Blood and ashes. All right, let's actually try to kill this Trolloc this time. There we go, that's better. And then what was it, F5 for autosave? Okay, good. Let's not forget to autosave this time. Speed this up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes the Trolloc. Oh, three of them this time. That's funny. So when I previously played this, uh, the I, the AI for this third Trolloc wasn't activated. He just sat up there and I just killed him. This time he actually came down after me. Uh, thank you guys for telling me my videos are well made. Yeah, this is pretty low quality content compared to what I'm usually making. But you know what? I needed a break, so I appreciate it. Look, my channel is so young, I can't even enable monetization. I would love to do that and just kind of shoot the breeze with you guys. But... Um, you know, this has been fun. Let me uh, equip this shield. And we'll go over here. Another healing device. I should probably just use this. Oh, hey. I do like the sound design for this game. I mean... Really, they did... I, I feel like they really put a lot of effort into this game. I know it looks pretty dated, and but, you know... This is pretty quality. They got these cool fire effects. I mean, this is the game as it came out. Now, my computer couldn't play it at this resolution back when this first came out, but I'm really impressed with it overall. I, I think uh, they did really think it through and put a lot of effort into it. All right, I got a hundred of these dart things. Let's auto save again so I don't have to start over like I did. Oh, hey, guys. The frame rate is so fast. Daniel, if you're still here, I know you played this a little bit. Did you figure out a way to kind of improve the frame rate? Because that would be helpful to know. I feel like I have to hold shift so that I can walk slowly. Now it's going kind of normal. Who knows? All right, let's keep moving. There we go. The Trollocs, there's two types of Trollocs, I believe. There's ones that come straight up to you and try to hit you and whack at you. And then there's ones that throw axes at you. But yeah, pretty much they're the same. Uh, there may be... Like, this one has a beak. I think their faces might be varied. Can you guys see that? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, you know, all things considered, it's awful. But <laughs> the beak, you can see, like, the yellow eyes. That's pretty cool. All right, let's heal up. Let's, uh, auto save. And let's kill us some Trollocs. There we go. I'm already playing a lot better. Okay, now I've got this flame Terangrial thing. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah, improving the frame rate means decreasing it. Exactly. It's kind of a weird problem. Um, there is Balefire in this game. Yes, you do get to use Balefire. It's pretty cool. And you can, like, charge it up so it has a stronger beam. I remember using it. 
Honestly, I played through this game a lot when I was younger, but I would turn on cheat mode and god mode, and I would just fly around and run through walls, and it was totally fun. Just completely, um, completely cheating the game. Saving. Okay. I, I wonder, I can't remember if I'm supposed to fight these guys. Oh, yeah, fireball. The cool thing about the fireball is that it has... I'm just going to run down here. I'm going to go into the next level. Now, there's, there's supposed to be a cutscene here. Looking into the alcove managed to save my life, but the assassin has slipped through my grasp. This tunnel might lead into the city, but Shadar Logoth is huge. Finding him won't be easy. I'm not at all eager to enter the city anyway. <laughs> Shadar Logoth fell into ruin thousands of years ago in the battle against the Dark One, but it became something sinister. An evil apart from the shadow. The assassin won't find any friends here, but the horrors inside await me as well. Scary. This is a really cool moment in the game when you go into Shadow Logoth. Um, if some of you are new here or just showed up, please like the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm. But also I wanted to say, um, I don't, uh, this is sort of new to me. I've not really streamed like this before, and this game is so old. There are supposed to be these cutscenes that happen, so I'm going to try to figure out a way to enable those uh, in the future. But... Um, let me just look through chat for a minute here before we start this next level. This is the Shadow Logoth level. I loved this level uh, when I was younger. Okay. I I hope <laughs> I hope that the Trollocs from this game are exactly how they look in the TV show. That would be amazing. Just polygons and all. Yeah, Fireball does have AOE damage. It, it like uh, it hits the ground and then it does like a little burst, and so it'll hit them which is pretty cool. Again, this game, it, it's obviously very dated, but it does have some pretty impressive uh, game mechanics, all things considered. Um, been streaming for 36 minutes. This has been an interesting experiment. What do you guys think? I know there's probably only like four or five people here, but uh, this has been kind of interesting. I, I do want to continue doing this. I just don't, I, I want the cutscenes to work because they help tell the story. We're tracking this guy who's sort of like Pat and Fane. He calls himself the Hound. And we're tracking him. He came into uh, the White Tower and did some damage or something. I can't even remember exactly. It's been so long. Now I'm trying to chase him, and I'm now chasing him into Shatter Logoth. And I have brightened up the game a lot for OBS, the way I'm streaming this. Um, in the actual uh, game, it's quite a bit darker. So... I can't see it as well as you guys can, but it also isn't this gray. It's There's better contrast in the actual game. <laughs> That's so funny. I think some of the audio in this game kind of cuts off too early, um, but that was supposed to be the sound of... Nice. That was supposed to be the sound of some sort of creature eating a Trolloc. Um, I'm walking slowly just because the frame rate's so insane. And I'm scared. No. This is actually how I imagined Shatter Logoth. And maybe it's because I played the game right as I was reading the novels when I was younger. But this is how I imagined Shatter Logoth. Not not quite this blocky, maybe, but the ambiance. They, they got the tone of Shatter Logoth right, in my opinion, in this game. Some of the creatures and stuff are super bizarre. But um, Ashadar is like these tendrils of smoke. And I really like it. I'm going to go right first. I think... This is a dead end, but I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so this Terong, y'all, is pretty awesome. Um, and for those who are just joining, too, your, the main character is an Aes Sedai, but she's incredibly weak in the one power. And so she has to use Terong Rial in order to fight. This is how they get around the game mechanics of channeling. There is no channeling in this game. You just use Terong Rial, which are... It's basically like guns in an FPS. But this particular Terong Rial, if I hit F2, it's supposed to show me... Oh, that's cool. I forgot about this. You can see the different powers that it uses. So this one uses air and fire. And this is a seeker. So it actually will launch at your enemies and then f it'll track to them and then hit them. So you don't have to have like really good aim to use this. I remember uh, enjoying using this a lot. Okay. Let's keep going. Auto save. Don't forget. I'm so afraid. Spooky. <laughs> Yeah, Pat and Fane is a more compelling villain. Now, this is not actually Pat and Fane, but it's someone like him. I think they call this, it's like an alternate turning of the wheel, or it's like a different age that happens pre-Dragon. Uh, pre 
Oh, that trollic sounded like he was having a good time. A little bit of panting. Oh, hey. Okay, so that was the first time we see the quote unquote Shatter Logoth creatures. Whatever they are, they're like these mutated creatures, and it just killed the Trolloc. So now I'm gonna go down here and probably have to kill it, I'm guessing. I can't remember. Spoopy. Oh, you can see its red eyes. I don't know if you can see that, but it's blinking in the distance. I'm just gonna shoot it and see what happens. Ugh, delicious. Okay, let's see. Oh, what is this thing? It's got like bat looking claws of some sort. Pretty cool, all things considered. I mean, you can see like the veins, creepy hands. Pretty cool. All right, so I got some more uh, Terangriel. It's a good thing someone just happened to leave a bunch of very useful weapon Terangriel for my character in uh, Shatter Loga. <laughs> I'm also playing on easy mode because I just want to get through the game. I thought it would be a fun way to chat with people. So let's talk Wheel of Time. Someone was talking about if we should combine Galad and Gawain's characters in the TV show. Thumbs up if you think we should combine Galad and Gawain's characters. Mashadar will eventually come. You know, this is still kind of the beginning of the game. It's more like a tutorial than an actual level still. All right, let's see here. I'm trying to walk slow. The frame rate is weird. <laughs> they play replay that same sound effect of something scurrying in the distance. That's so funny. Oh, you can see the dark night sky. Oh, look, there's even the moon back there. That's really cool. Don't think I ever noticed that before. Okay, let's keep going. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's the hound. This is the hound, and looks like there are some Trollocs. <laughs> you can see these events that are sort of activated. So these are Shatter Logoth creatures. So it looks like the Shatter Logoth creatures came in here and killed the Trollocs. Now the Trollocs ran up here. I'm guessing they're coming after me. I can hear footsteps, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to see. So I was supposed to be able to get around here, but the Hound also has Terangriol. <laughs> don't combine Galad and Gawain. Okay, I don't think anyone wants that. <laughs> All right, well, there's your answer. Was it Josh, I think, who said that they should do that or could do that? Definitely don't do that. Oh, look, I can see one of them hanging out. Did I get him? Oh, I killed him. That's hilarious. Okay, so there was a bridge here. The hound used some sort of Terangriol to break it, so now I have to go around. So let's go down this way. If I remember correctly, it's down here. Yep. I can hear the creature. So the AOE damage on this particular weapon will kill me, too. If I shoot the wall, it will bounce back and kill me. So I have to kind of have distance between me. Let's see if we can get a close-up look of this Shatter Logoth creature before it attacks. Nope. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> I basically bombed myself to death. That's fine. Let's reload. We'll go through this part quickly. It's been a while since I... Uh... <laughs> trying to run through this quick this time okay so I killed it let's pick up these items uh, okay yep 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 auto save gotta remember apparently this game does not save itself you just have to auto save it um, up here there's a Terangriol go down here so let's see if we can get a better look at the hound this time waiting around the corner to bomb us <laughs> And then these two guys are supposed to fall down, and then they get attacked. And then there go the creatures, just to hang out and wait for me. Okay, I'm going to heal this time. I have heard of Mountain Blade. I need to try that out sometime. You know, I do think that Gawain and Galad's characters, one of the things I look forward to in the TV show is improving the characters. I think as much as we love the Wheel of Time and we love the characters, there are certainly certain plot elements, certain romantic relationships, 
um, certain elements to these characters that I do think we can see done better in a television setting. Um, I think both Gawain and Galad could improve quite a bit in the TV show. I also think they could be more minor characters, less involved, especially up front. Uh, we'll see. Okay, good. I killed that one. I'm going to try to kill this one, too. See if I can... How do I... Oh, did I use my last... Oh, I accidentally dropped it. That's funny. I didn't even know I could do that. So don't press control. That drops the current weapon. Okay, I think I killed it. Let's go check. If not, I'll equip the, um, the darts. This is so dark for me. I can barely see what's going on here. Um, but the game doesn't let me brighten it. Okay, so that one's dead. That one's dead. Okay, I killed both of them. Oh, and there's some more Terran Grail in here. How convenient. You can hit them both from here. Yeah. I don't think they should be combined. I don't think they should be com combined, but some people do personally. Galad's arc is one of the more satisfying, and I love the idea of Gawain character, even if he is a beautiful idiot. You know what I love is that in the end, Gawain gets the girl, and she's Berlane is one of the most capable. Sorry, spoilers. Berlane is one of the most capable uh, females in the entire book series. Galad, for all the um, guff he gets for being kind of too righteous. He really does stick to what he thinks is right. He grows a bit, and he realizes sometimes he can't always choose the right way. And in the end, he gets the, one of the best girls in the series. So, you know what? Good for him. He deserves it. Yeah, I brightened up the stream, but the actual game is quite dark. I used some filters in OBS to brighten up the stream. All right, so, uh, wait. Is there... Uh, what happened? Oh, I went back up the stairs really fast. Okay, let's go back down the stairs really fast. Let's see if there's another way out. I thought there was a way out of here. Let me see. Nope, can't bust that open. Oh, is this... Oh, nope, that's where I came from. All right, I guess I'm going back where I came from. Jeez, it's so dark, I keep getting turned around. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. There's a ledge here. Or I could just fall. That works, too. Let's try that again. So this game has fall damage, apparently. Quite a bit of it. Oh, I see. It jumps forward. <laughs> Dumb. All right. Let's heal. Use up all my healing because of the fall damage. <laughs> Time to download. Yeah, I, you know, I own the game. I have the game on disc, but I couldn't get the disc to run, so I ended up just downloading an illegal copy of it. But I do own it. It's just uh, couldn't get it to run properly on the disc. It's probably scratched or something. That's why I think the uh, cutscenes aren't working. Okay, I made the first jump. And I do it again. Oh, okay, good. Quick save that. I gotta remember to quick save before I do these things from now on so I don't have to go back. Okay. Nice. Yes. Okay. So now I have two options. I can go left down this creepy area or I can go right down this creepy area. It's not very creepy to you guys because it's so bright. Auto save. Oh, that's cool. These rocks are gonna like crumble. Let me just shoot him. Aha! I think that was supposed to do that. I'm probably supposed to jump from that ledge to there at some point. If I remember correctly. I remember there's some creatures hiding in here. I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. Okay, maybe a little. I should probably start... Ooh, there's Mashadar. Ooh, creepy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm stuck. Ay, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I forgot about this. So these are like tendrils of smoke, and they definitely have like a... Uh, hello? <laughs> I didn't even see it. Killed me. 
We are not about this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, the game is... It's not for everyone. I understand that. I gotta look... I gotta look through the chat for a second. I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. It looks like I haven't missed much. Okay, so F6 reload. That's good. Let's... What was that? I didn't even mean to do that. Some sort of console thing. Okay. That's it. I think that's how you do the cheats. Okay, I'm gonna go to this thing this time. I think it's easier to aim. Maybe. The frame rate's so fast that I keep uh, missing. Oh, I see. I have to go this way. Dude, Mash Mashadar is the freakiest thing yet. Okay, I'm figuring it out. Oh no, run! Yeah, I'm I'm bad. I'm bad at this. If you were watching to see how good I am at games, then I apologize. All right, one more time. Let's do this quick. Shoot that. Go over here. Hold shift so I can walk a little slower. Kill this thing. All right, go fast. Pick up the stuff. Run. Run, run, run. Nope, not that way. And then the pathing for these is pretty obvious the second you get to a certain point. Heal up, because I'm almost dead. Put on a shield, and quick save. All right, so that Mashadar was pretty cool. Can I go here now? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Oh, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> All right. Running, running. Can't see. Too dark. Up the stairs. Okay, this is... Yeah, I remember this. This is that shift Terangreal that I saw in the... Um, in the tutorial. I have to use it to go through this. <clears throat> so, I have one shot at this. Hooray, I did it. Okay, so I went through the wall. Quick save. Uh. Fell down here. That's gotta be good. It's gotta be safe. Wait a minute. Isn't this where I was before? Hold on a minute. Okay, so I just circled back around. Hey, that's actually pretty decent level design. Of course, I'm supposed to be able to get through there, and I can't, so now I have to do that whole thing again. So let's run through here. I thought this crumbled down. I'm not even able to get through here. Well, there's a problem. And Mashadar is coming. Okay, there's got to be another way around here that I'm not seeing. Bad. <laughs> yeah, am I supposed to be some sort of badass ran ninja? No, more like a really weak Aes Sedai who can only rely on Terangreal so that they could make this an FPS and not have to figure out how channeling works in a video game. Am I able to jump up here? Okay, this is embarrassing, but I think I'm stuck. All right, let's try this again. Go this way. I can't jump up on there. Can't go through here because it's blocked. Mashadar wants to kill me. Hi, Rose. This is my daughter, Rose. I'm online right now, streaming. Wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> what you up to? Yeah, okay. This is an old Wheel of Time game I've been playing that I'm now stuck. Well, this is fun, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I genuinely don't know what to do. I don't have the ability to get back up and around. I can't go through here. chat yeah a little bit 
There's a few people, so you can see them chatting right there. Yeah. Oh, well, this is just thrilling. Oh, I see. Nope, that didn't work. There's Mashadar trying to come through. supposed to be able to climb up here. Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> well, this is fun, isn't it? Just a blast. I don't think I can blow this over. Alright, let's... Let's do a quick load thing. Oh, well, that would have been much easier. Should have just done that from the start. He dead. Oh, yes. This is the first sort of like area where there's Mashadar. It's kind of like the first courtyard. So Mashadar is going to come after me, so I got to make a run for this thing. Here I go. run for these stairs right here. I do have a little bit of a shield on my character, but I am going to die if I don't find something to heal with soon. Oh, that's funny. Just let Mashadar kill me. This is where I came from. Oh, boy. Well... This is, uh, I'm sure, very riveting YouTube content. <laughs> I'm still kind of learning how this all works. Oh, great. So he broke that, but also gave me an area to come into here. So the Mashadar is trying to kill me. It's like this foggy tendril. Pretty cool. Go back up here. Back up here. Gosh, I'm so bad at this. Can't go up there. That's where he broke the thing. This is where I came from. Oh, boy. I'm so turned around. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to go, I think. Yeah. So I have to get... Man, I cannot jump up there. Try again. Take it slow. Jump there. There we go. Up here. There's a bunch of Terangriel that I want to get to. That's good. I just died. All right, I'm, I think I'm going to call it quits for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know that it wasn't as long as it could have been. Um, oh, you said you're just watching. You're just enjoying it? Oh, well, okay. I guess I'll play a little longer. <laughs> let me uh, let me keep going. F6. Okay. So, let me... What? Okay. All right, that's it. I gotta change the brightness. Hold on one second. Gotta go to my uh, desktop for a minute. Sorry, technical difficulties. Go to my NVIDIA control panel. Rose, say hi. Say hi to everybody. There's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I think I need to increase the gamma a little bit. Maybe the brightness. Hopefully that will help. Oh, it's so bright. But is that is that brighter to you guys, or is that the same? <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> this is a. Uh, I'm I'm live streaming right now. Oh. Say hi. Wipe those crumbs off your face. <laughs> this is my son Coleman. All right. Um, let's do this. What is this? 
This is the old Wheel of Time game. And I'm, I'm streaming online. Oh, I keep dying to that same creature. All right. I'm going to learn my lesson one of these days. I brightened the game up a bunch. Now it looks awful, but... Okay, let's, um... Uh, let's, um... Kill this thing. Much better. Okay, it's dead. Nashadar's gonna come out of there. There's the hound running that way. Okay, I'm gonna run this way, get this. Ooh, I don't like Nashadar. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, go up here, and then he bombs me, I believe. Yep. Oh, look, I hit him a bunch. That's funny, he started bleeding. Okay, then I go... Here, trying to get by Mashadar. I only have 11 health. Go up here. Oh, this is where I came from. Yep, 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 I don't remember. So it's this way I'm supposed to go. Or is this where he bombed me? Oh, gosh. Okay, it's this way. There. Okay, then I go up here. Right click. Right click. Is Mashadar attacking me from up here? Okay, I'm going to hang out here for a second. Catch my breath. Quick save. I'm going to try to make this jump. Nope, I did. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Let's try to make this jump. Nope. <laughs> okay, maybe I can't make the jump. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we'll go this way. I can make this jump. Although... Okay, that's good. Let's quick save again because I'm probably going to die any second. Yep. While I was trying to uh, select my weapon, my Shadar killed me. Okay. Hey, look, it's so bright I can actually see the enemies now. Can't hit them. <laughs> there we go. All right. Quick save again. Okay. I, I feel like I might have missed some stuff over here. Let me look around. Oh, <laughs> yep, I missed an area where you die. windy outside so what okay there's clearly some sort of creature over here oh just let me hit you thank you I'm gonna turn on my seekers I only have 20 of these but these are gonna come in handy oh and I just got more okay the seekers will really help they're pretty cool, actually. Okay, I remember this floor is going to crumble. Yep. Nice dodge. <laughs> he did. Okay. Oh, there's a healing thing. Thank goodness. Okay, full heal. Well, not full. 80%. A lot better than what I was at. 10 or something. Okay, keep going down here. The first boss fight's coming up pretty soon, if I remember correctly. The thing I had healed. Quick save. Yeah, this. Oh, here comes Master Arrow because I'm looking at chat. I just run away. Now, the, it's interesting because I, I haven't developed video games myself, but. I've done a little bit of dabbling in creating video games. I, I've tried to start my own VR game. It's interesting to kind of see how this game works. You can see there are clear like trigger points. When you walk through a certain doorway, suddenly that triggers Mashadar to come after you. But then if you leave, it goes back. See, so if I back off, it'll go back. It's it's you can tell the pathing options. The pathing options aren't that great in this uh, game, but that's kind of what I like about it. It's predictable, I guess, if you know what to look for. I think I had that. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of Mashadar. It's cool because the, the, the Mashadar in these areas is trying to sort of train you to run through the areas. You can't really take your time. You have to kind of rush through. Otherwise, Mashadar, the fog, will kill you. Okay. So, probably time for a quick save. Oh, yes. The assassin Loading. has put himself in the heart of the web. The streets of the city are deadly. The bowels are only worse. I can't imagine what they hide, and I hope I don't find out. So again, there's supposed to be a cutscene here. I'm kind of disappointed that the uh, cutscenes aren't um, properly working. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to try. I am going to open up a YouTube video, and let's just watch the first few cutscenes. 
So Wheel of Time video game cut scenes. Here we go. Let's just watch the first few. Since they're not working on my version of the game. This is the intro title. forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again. In one such age long past, the age of legends, mankind enjoyed a time of prosperity. Certain people called Aes Sedai were born with the ability to sense and channel the one power. This was the energy at the center of the universe, the driving force of creation. Drawing on the one power the Aes Sedai could accomplish anything. They controlled the weather, healed the sick, and gained virtual immortality. With mastery came arrogance. One woman used her power to bore a hole into a place existing outside time and creation. This released a dark presence into the world. Although it took the name Shaitan, it became known by many others. Father of lies, soul's bane, or most commonly, the Dark One. Many flocked to the Dark One's banner, including 13 of the most powerful Aes Sedai, known later as the Forsaken. Their army was filled with twisted creatures created by the Dark One out of nightmare. Trollocs and their horrific masters, the Murdral. The War of the Shadow had begun. A man called the Dragon led an assault against Chael Ghul, the location of the boar, and he succeeded in forcing the Dark One back through the breach. He closed it off, trapping the Dark One and the Thirteen Forsaken on the other side. The Dragon created a collection of palm-sized stone seals to contain the power that kept the prison closed. These seals the dragon entrusted to the remaining Aes Sedai. For years, the Aes Sedai kept the seals safe in the White Tower. But the Dark One had his revenge. Moments before his banishment, in a final blow against the dragon, he tainted the male aspect of the One Power. The taint drove every man who could channel it insane. And uncontrolled, these madmen rent the very earth with their power. This time became known as the breaking of the world. The women of the Aes Sedai rallied and eventually destroyed the male channelers. But many of the seals were lost in the chaos. Only two remained within the White Tower. To this day, the Aes Sedai search for the missing seals, but unknown to them, others search as well. What was, what will be, and what is, may yet fall under the shadow. That was honestly a pretty cool intro. Um, I, I wanted to look at this scene again of the White Tower. This is not how I envisioned the White Tower at all. But still pretty cool. Overall, yeah, I agree. That intro is actually pretty good. I mean, they did a good job of hyping up the, the story and setting it up. So the, the context here is that we're looking for the seals, right? All right, let's continue. So then this is when the story sort of kicks off. Age called the third Oops. age. Oh, I did. Another age called the third age by some, an age yet to come, an age long past. A wind 
rises in the Dragon Mount. The wind is not the beginning. There are neither beginnings nor endings to the turning of the wheel of time. But it is a beginning. The wind dives down through the streets of Tarvalon, the city surrounding the White Tower. Shutters slam closed in its wake. People hug their cloaks and race inside their homes. Without knowing why, they sense that the wind brings a chill. It has nothing to do with the weather. Elena Sedai, the keeper of the Chronicles of the White Tower, the right hand of the Amalan seat, is touched by the wind. She shivers. Elena is Aes Sedai, but she can't channel the one power more than a trickle. Because of this, some wonder if her friendship with the Amalan isn't the only reason for her position. But few can question her mastery of the tower's collection of Tyr Angrial, artifacts from the Age of Legends that can perform wondrous tasks with the One Power without requiring the user to channel. Elena is of the Brown Aja, one of seven different factions in the tower. While some dedicate themselves to finding and eliminating men that can channel, like the Red, or championing worthy causes, like the Blue, the Brown Aja is dedicated to the gathering and preservation of knowledge. It's no wonder that Elena finds herself working late into the night. What is that? A report from the expedition of Brown Aja sisters that I sent to the Borderlands. And? It's not good news. They used the maps I discovered, but haven't found anything resembling a cache of Tirangrial or one of the Quendler seals. Even worse, they've had some trouble with the local White Cloaks. Apparently, the garrison leader hates Aes Sedai. White Cloaks? That's a nickname for the army known as the Children of the Light, because of their white cloaks. They're fanatics. They claim they're battling the Dark One, but most of the time, they just terrorize the public. I don't like their tactics. Can you answer the door, Kieran? You're the witch who can't channel, right? Where are the seals? Where are the seals? Mm, they've got to be here somewhere. for a fool. The seals aren't here at all. We all grieve for the loss of Kirin Sedai, my child. I know she was your friend, but she was just one of 14 sisters murdered this night. You are the only surviving witness. Witness to what? Who was that man? Why was he demanding the seals? I thought it was public knowledge that only the Amarlin knows where they are hidden. Public knowledge inside of the tower. I believe that this was his first visit. But how did he get in? How did he get to my room? Ah, oh, yes. Despite the casualties, I doubt that he could have made it to your chambers without assistance. Assistance? Black Aja. I have no proof, so I want to hear none of this from you outside of this room. But I have suspected for some time that a few of our sisters have allied with the Dark One. Who? I cannot say. Not yet. Why are you telling me? I was the only one left alive. Wouldn't that implicate me? You're not Black Aja, child. I'd stake my life on it. In fact, I already have. This man was here to take our seals, although I can't guess why. 
but he didn't even come close to success. Either his attempt was poorly planned, or there's something here that we don't understand. Regardless, he did manage to murder our sisters and steal your store of Tyr Angrial. And the whole tower knows about it. That reminds me. There was a panel hidden in the wall of my chamber that I'd never come across. It held an unfamiliar Tyr Angrial. <sighs> yes, I know. I put that panel in your wall back when it was my chamber. The artifact inside was very important. This is what we need to discuss. The sitters of the hall are understandably furious. Right now, they are scattering our home guard into the countryside to search for the assassin, which they do against my wishes. Don't mistake me, child. I'm just as angry as the others. But I hesitate to leave the White Tower with a skeleton force to go look for a needle in a haystack. And this man carries my artifact. If he is discovered by someone not true to the tower... I understand. What do you want from me? I believe this is yours. It's a report found on your desk. Given the handprint, the man has obviously read it. The report claims that a seal might be located in the borderlands to the west. I thought that after his failure here, he might try again there. It was a flimsy lead, but I had nothing else. My eyes and ears along that path have confirmed that he is indeed heading southwest. They also tell me that he has surrounded himself with a regiment of Trollocs. This slows him down, and will make it difficult to cross the Manetherendral River, since he can't travel through Whitebridge. If you hurry, you should be able to overtake him in the woods outside of Shadar Logoth. Try to catch him before he reaches the city. You certainly don't want to be chasing after him inside of that cursed place. Me? How am I supposed to handle an assassin and a regiment of Trollocs? I can't channel the One Power more than a trickle. Even he knew that. I can't trust anyone else. You've been studying our Tirangreal for years. No one is more proficient in their use. These artifacts can make you as powerful as any other sister, if not more. Take whatever we have left. Be careful, though. He's obviously been trained to use Tirangreal himself. Also, watch for any of our forces tracking the assassin. They may get lucky. And you must reach him before they do. Find this man and bring back what he has stolen. More than you know depends on it. Move, you witless brutes! Hello? Hey, sorry about that, guys. I just realized you couldn't hear me. What I was going to say is... Here, let me rewind this a little bit. Um... <sighs> So 
Sorry, guys. There's there's a there's a delay on my stream, so I didn't see your comments until way later. Um, you should be able to hear me now. I'll just double check. Yep. Okay. My microphone came unplugged by accident. Um, it should be working now. Give me a thumbs up as soon as you hear it working. Um, what I was going to say, and hopefully you can you can hear me. Yeah, you hear the video, but you don't hear me. But hopefully I fixed that. Any any second now, it should catch up. Okay. Okay, good. So what I was going to say, or what I was saying is, um, we'll finish uh watching some of these cutscenes I'll I'll play for 10 or 15 more minutes. Um I thought it was funny in those earlier cutscenes when Elena Sedai is talking to another Aes Sedai and she calls them the white cloaks and the Aes Sedai is like white cloaks what are those? Like it's clearly a way to explain things to the audience but it was pretty tacky how they did that. Um obviously the character animations aren't great. But I'm going to play this next. So this next cutscene starts after I chase them I, and I chase them to the city. This is when that cutscene happens. So I've already played this up to this point in the game. What? So I'm going to play this next cutscene. Move, you witless brutes. She'll be here any moment. to die, witch. Burn you and your kind. Let me alone! This city is a cursed All right, hold on. Let me, uh, hopefully you, yep, yeah, looks like my audio's working. Uh, uh, so that was actually kind of a fun little cutscene where he traps her. Now remember, he's, I believe he's using Terangriel. He's not a male channeler. He's just using Terangriel um, to do this. But I was going to say, I think I mentioned this earlier, but you guys couldn't hear me. Um, the question is, how can we improve this? Like, I wanted to just chat Wheel of Time, talk comments and stuff like that talk spoilers and all that um i do enjoy playing this game and i want to keep chatting with you this is something i'm still trying to figure out something i'm learning but um one of the questions i want to ask you guys and it's probably a pretty obvious question but the question is can the dark one be bail fired since the dark one is not technically inside of the pattern doesn't have a thread what would happen if you tried to bail bail fire the dark one um okay so i'm gonna keep playing this cutscene. i can't remember when it starts back up to where I'm at in the in the game. Let me look at the thing. It says, The assassin has put himself in the heart of the web. The streets of the city are deadly. The bowels are only worse. I can't imagine what they hide, and I hope I don't find out. Okay, so I think this scene here in the game takes place after this cutscene. So let's watch this next cutscene. And I'll rewind it a little bit. Hey! This city is a cursed maze. Blood and ashes, where is the exit? Stop, murderer! Witch, this is your fault. The city will kill both of us, and it's on your head. Why didn't you just let me go? All right, this is now the next cutscene, so I don't want to show that part. But this is when I jump down into the bowels of Shadow Logoth. So the tasks are 
The longer the assassin evades you, the greater the chance that he will die before you regain the Terangriel that he carries. Find him quickly, and then get the Amarlin's Terangriel back. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, I remember this part. So you fall into the sewers, and Mashadar is all around you, and it's coming after me, so I gotta make some quick choices while running away from the fog. Pretty cool idea. Um, now, the game is normally much darker. It's a lot harder to see what's going on. But I've brightened it up so I can kind of see around. If I remember correctly, Mashadar comes out of some of these areas and comes after me. But there's also like a hidden lever in one of these uh, little areas. There's a Terangri also. I'll go grab that. Jump back out. Um, also going to heal. One more. Oh, no, that's all I have. Auto save. Okay. So let's go. I remember there's a switch around here somewhere, I think. Okay, it's not there. It's not there. It's a... Oh, there's the switch. Here comes Mashadar. Yikes. Is it going to keep chasing? Okay. So it's not chasing me anymore. Let me, um,. Just double check that I didn't miss any items. I don't think I did, but there's another there's another switch here. Ow! I need to use a shield. So that's weird. Did that close on me? Is it closing? Oh, it keeps closing. Do I have to sit here? I see. Okay, I gotta hurry through. Okay, there we go. I didn't realize it closed. Something's hitting me. <laughs> Look, I have two health. Do I even want to autosave at this point? Uh, I may just try that part over again. Let me just quick load. Alright, so let's just... Make sure I got all the items. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we're going to go here. Going to open this. Turn on my shield. Go through. Equip this. Kill this thing. And it is so hard to aim with this frame rate. Okay. Good. Back to 100% on those items. I don't remember where, but there's a way to get through here. The fog comes after me. It's pretty creepy. All right, down here we go. Yeah, here comes the fog. Did I see some items? Oh, there was an item. Jeez. Can I not get up here? Guess not. Quality gameplay right here. How do you get up there? Hmm. Oh well. It's definitely possible to get up here because there are all these items everywhere. All right, let me try it from the bridge. Ah, here we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, gosh. The, uh... Oh, my. This is annoying. All right, let's try this one over here, see if we can make it. Yep, nice, got that. Good, got that. Oh, I got it, so I don't have to go back up there. Anyways. One more. Cow. <laughs> I like how I'm walking slow, but it sounds like I'm on a horse. Huh, all right. Well, I guess I'm not getting that one. That's too annoying. Maybe I need to jump across. Let me try that. Nope. All right, I'm giving up. Moving on. Who cares? 
sure it's fine. I don't need to heal all the time. This is where I came from. So I'm going down here. Oh, that's cool. Let the water down. There's some sort of object down here. What are they saying on chat? You can do it. I gave up. <laughs> I feel like whatever I'm doing is it. Oh, I'm dying from being unable to breathe. Um, I feel like what I'm doing isn't very entertaining. Uh, can I get under here? No, probably not. Because somehow I dropped that. <laughs> I died. Uh, reload. <laughs> Alright. Let me look at controls. Maybe I missed how to crouch. Customize controls. Fire, jump, move forward, strafe, turn, next hand, previous hand, drop item, look up, look down, walk, walk, shift, strafe, single quote. Oh, that's a odd. So there is no crouch. Supposed to be able to get through that? Alright. A five. Auto save. Oh, there's another switch on the other side. I see. Okay. I get it. I go over here. Aha! Jump across. Don't fall in. Yeah, I get it. One, two, jump, jump, three, four. Yeah, oh no! I blew it. Hey, I did it. It was all a blur, but I did it. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I'm actually hitting the fog. Time to go. Oh, I guess these things can swim. Seems fair. Choking. Ah. Burn you. Leave me alone. Okay. Let's see, there's something down here. Oh, yeah. It's a water shield, so I can breathe underwater. That all happened very quickly. So, let's use the water shield, shall we? Um... Water shield's working, but it's going to run out soon. That wasn't a trollic. That was a another water shield. Come on, go faster. So this is me attempting to breathe, and the water shield is protecting me. You can see the water shield up in the top left wearing out. So I'll equip another one as soon as it runs out. Grab that. I think there's an item over here. But I think it's a dead end. Yep. Worth it. And re-equip water shield. Heal. 
Oh, that's cool. The sound effect for healing is slower underwater. That's a cool little detail. Okay, going through here. Almost out. Uh, am I stuck? Oh. I did it! Mm, I'm back in the water. Um, oh. Oh, there's a ladder. I know you're down here. I know you're following me. You want, you want those trinkets I stole from the tower, right? Well, I hit them. I hit them somewhere in the city. We'll never find them without me. You need me. I hear. I can hear it coming for me. I show you mercy. The great Lord help me. I don't want to die. Save me, please. Oh. That was actually kind of creepy. So the hound is now scared in the city. Let's do like an official save here. Um, quick save. The hound is now sort of like scared and he's like, I don't want to be here anymore, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's full of stars. Yeah, I'm a really weak Aes Sedai in this game and I'm relying on Terangrial to get around and to use his weapons. So I got to open one of these trap doors and there's a way out one of these uh. looks like there's an item here okay yeah there's a way through there but i have to okay so the one i need to open is this one. is this the one i missed uh. nope Ugh, okay open all of these one that one's already open two three and I gotta remember which one to go into. Not that one. This one. Nope, I got that already. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so there's a creature there, but I have this swap places. Let's see if it comes back, though. Alright, I have to do that again. Oops. It's interesting that there's no action button either. You just walk by the the object. I thought there was a way. Did I drop that? Where'd it go? I guess I have to reuse it. Gosh. So, did I use that Terran Grail or not? Because I can't see it now. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, I dropped it. Requires a target. Yeah. I keep dropping it because I hit control. All right. One more reload. Oh, nice. Not there. Not there. Ugh. Okay. It's right here. Let me go get the object. Then I come up here. Then I come over here. Open this. Quick save. Uh. There we go. So I switched places with that creature. With that Terangrail. <laughs> that was a huge pain. Save. Alright. So what did we decide on uh, the Dark One being able to be bale-fired? Can the Dark One be bale-fired? I don't know if I saw anyone comment on that. Get. Oh, that's cool. Mashadar says, stay. It whispers, stay. I don't want to stay. I don't want to get eaten. 
or have my soul eaten. Okay, so there's only one way out of here. Well, that's new. What does this thing do? I got a new Terran Grail. Let's check it out. Wow, it uses all five of the powers. For a short time, Fork erects a shield. Although artifact weaves that penetrate this shield still affect you, a duplicate attack is launched back at the originator. So it's like a, a bounce off me kind of effect. It's cool. Yeah, no physical form to hit. I agree. Not only that, but he has no thread, and Balefire burns away threads in the pattern, right? Okay, I accidentally used that thing I just got. It's all good. I didn't really want it anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember the boss. This is the big boss fight. I'm not sure I'm ready. And I'm dead. Oh, great. Where was this? Okay. I got a quick save more often. I don't want to stay. Can you just die already? Thank you. Okay, so there's an... Good. Oh, good. More objects. Okay, quick save. Got a heal. <sighs> okay. Oh, am I stuck on a rock? What am I stuck on? Come on. You can do it. <laughs> and I'm in the water. Okay. I nearly killed myself. Did you just die already? Thank you. Object. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, this boss is pretty hard to kill, and I'm probably going to die a million times. So, let's look at this shield I just got. This is a new item. I think this is a spirit shield. Yep. Spirit shield forms a protective barrier that prevents all spirit-based weaves or environmental hazards from affecting you. So, this is like this creepy spirit creature that's going to be attacking me and this shield does have unlimited it's one use but remember when when these objects have that blue halo right there that means they'll respawn infinitely so i can run back in here and continue to grab that object i just have to face mashadar but this will also protect me against mashadar so i'm going to turn on my seekers i'm going to enable my shield and let's do this Nothing too freaky, just a spirit creature. Okay, now I'm gonna run, grab some of these items. There's another spirit shield, I'll enable it. I'm gonna heal, quick save, get the spirit shield ready, use seekers again. Where'd it go? Seekers are my friend here. See, it's sending these, like, spirit things at me. Heal some more. Get a shield up. Oh, I killed it. That was faster than I thought. Oh yeah, now he comes after me. The hound, here he comes. Quick save, there he goes, I just saw him run by. Oh, he, he hit me with the same tracking things. Okay, shield would probably be good. Where is he? somewhere. I'm just going to shoot the ground around him. 
try to get an AOE effect. Okay, keep dying. That's okay. I'll figure this out. Let me heal. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I just killed him. It was really fast. So, once you kill him, it goes to this cutscene. Let me rewind this a little bit. You don't kill him. Enough. Spare me. Light, you deserve to die a thousand times for what you've done. I was a pawn, a dupe. Ishmael set me up to die. Ishmael? Not the Forsaken. He's just a children's tale. One of the thirteen chosen by the Dark Lord. Probably the most powerful of them all. He's very real. If you'd seen what I've seen... You don't refuse Ishmael when he commands you, my dear. You're a dark friend. <laughs> he wouldn't be commanding you what? if you hadn't already promised your soul to the Dark One. And by the way you ordered those Trollocs around. I'd say you had some status. Trollocs don't obey pawns. They eat them. Status? Not any more, I'd wager. Ishmael sent me to the White Tower. I was to walk in, steal a Quendalar seal, and bring it to him. Agents inside were supposed to lead me right to it. Simple. Bloodless. Instead, they led me to your chamber, nowhere near anything that resembled a seal, and forced me to kill a number of sisters in order to escape. Now I've been marked. Won't be able to go anywhere without looking over my shoulder for Aes Sedai. My life is worthless. If you want pity, look elsewhere. I'm waiting for you to tell me where you've hidden my trinkets. Otherwise, I would have put you down already like a rabid hound. Nice one. You can't lie. All Aes Sedai are bound by the Three Oaths. Tell me that you'll spare my life, and I'll show you where the Tyrangriel are. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here a long time. Why did you come here to hide? It's about the most terrible place I can imagine. Out of the pot and into the fire, eh? I didn't choose it. I was heading back to Ishmael's fortress in the Mountains of Mist for lack of anywhere else to go. You caught me outside. I was hoping you'd be too frightened to follow me in. I was wrong. However, you're avoiding the question. Will you spare my life? If you don't walk out of this city, it will not be of my doing. <laughs> I suppose that's as good as I'm going to get. Let's go. Oh yeah, Mordeth. <laughs> Just look! More gold than I've ever seen. More than I could have dreamed of. What can Ishmael offer that compares to this? Where are my artifacts, hound? Woof. <laughs> is that all you want? Look at this. There is more than enough for both of us. My Tirangrial assassin. Now. Fine. They're buried in that corner. So I leave thinking he's dead. <laughs> oh!
Thank the light. Keep her. We need your help. We tracked the assassin to this city, but found the entrance blocked by rock. We managed to find another way in further down the wall, but it might as well be miles from here. Shortly after we entered, a swarm of those horrible creatures attacked us. We might have been able to defend ourselves against them, but the mist itself rose up behind us and killed nearly half our number. We scattered. Many of our party were separated. Even now, they're somewhere out there. The few here managed to stay together. Our original entrance is blocked, so we decided to make our way here and try to dig our way through the rubble. We've made a lot of progress, but I think the city knows we're here, and it's sending its monsters to destroy us. The light send will have enough time to break through before we are all dead. Okay. So that's the end of that segment. The next... Uh, Hopefully, you, yeah, you can still hear me, right? The next segment um, starts with uh, me having to not only escape the city, but keep all of these warders and other Aes Sedai alive. I remember this being pretty challenging, so I'll probably play this next time on the stream. I hope you guys like this. This has been kind of an interesting experiment for me, but I'm enjoying it. And now that I'm getting into the story a little bit more, I am enjoying it. I have to say, you know, the character design is not great. The character animation is bad. But to me, the story and the settings and the sound, um, all, all that, are actually quite well done. I'm playing this on uh, just Windows 10, but I'm, I changed it to Windows 8 compatibility mode. And also, I have the disc right here of the original game, but I wasn't able to get that to work, so I actually just downloaded a copy that I found online for free. As a matter of fact, I think I'll post a link to that site with specific instructions on how to download and play it. Um, I don't think you can watch the cutscenes though. I couldn't get those to work, so I was just playing them through YouTube. Um, and since I played this before, I kind of remember where the cutscenes happened. But anyway, this has been fun, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope in the future to get a little bit more interaction with you guys in chat. But since I was kind of learning, and to be honest, it's a little ner I'm a little nervous just doing this live stream. It's kind of new for me, but it's, it is fun. I want to chat more in depth about the Wheel of Time, talk about spoilers and other things. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll probably continue to do this just on Saturday mornings or Saturday afternoons. Um, I know that this probably is kind of a turnoff to some people who watch my channel because this isn't really what my channel is about, but you know, I'm just making lots of different Wheel of Time related content. I think it's fun. I definitely am working on my next deep dive. It's a lot of fun. It's coming together and I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. I've also been doing a lot of collaborations with a lot of people. My next big Wheel of Time roundup video that will be coming out will be all about Wheel of Time podcasts. And man, there are a lot out there. So I've been listening to those um, listening to sort of like the greatest hits of some of the different podcasters and trying to compile a, a nice list for that. Um, things at work are getting a little busier. I'm going to be going back into the office. I've been home working from home for the last three months, but I'm going to be going back into the office soon. So I hope to be able to continue to create content, especially the deep dives. That's my favorite part of my channel. So I'll keep that up. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end the stream for now and we'll see you guys later. Thank you.